Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Stones. Hello. Welcome. I am Professor Victoria Moon, investigator of the occult. <gasps> you have a terrible aura. Let me clean it up for you. Let you what? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm? Oh. There, all clean now. Wait, you're Victoria Moon from Mystery TV? 24 hours a day of unexplained phenomena, astral projection, and unsolved mysteries. 200 years later, and the enigma remains in the spiritual world. Tonight, in chatting with celebrities, we'll ask Van Gogh where he hid his ear. And remember, the world you see is just a fragment of the world that exists. Um, that was very, uh, interesting. Oh, don't worry. I know I have a poor reputation among archaeologists. They ignore the fact that this world is full of phenomena that go beyond all reason. Take a look at this. Well, looks like a battle in Egypt. It's the great battle of the pharaoh Cheops against his sorcerer, Hermes Trismegist. Nobody knows, but I bet all my chakras it's in his old office in the Louvre. The Louvre? Dominique was the museum's first director, but his office disappeared during the first renovations of the building. How do you know all this? I have found a lot of information here in his personal diary, but there is also a lot I can't make head or tail of. I'd abandoned all hope of finding the tablet until your little adventure in Mexico. How did you know that? And what does all this have to do with the tablet? It's a fragment of the tablet. It started shining three days ago. When I found the sarcophagus. Coincidence? I think not. That sarcophagus contains the remains of Hermes, the sorcerer. Inside, there must be clues that lead to the tablet. I need you to persuade your team to work with us. Yeah, well, it's not exactly my team. <laughs> I know you have a good relationship with Dr. Sarah Lavrov. Yeah, but... Tell her that the sarcophagus can be opened with the Guardian's pendant. That thing your dog gobbled up. Oh, how did you know about that? Trust me, when they see you know how to open it, they'll have no choice but to listen to us. 